Hello everyone, I am doing my presentation on chapter 25, which is called Attendance Management, What is a Single Mom to Do? So this chapter outlines the story of Janet Allen, um, who moved to Kingman, Arizona after she got married, she had a baby, um, and when she moved she had to quit her job, um, so her job was elsewhere, and her husband left her, um, he wanted to pursue a music career, and said that the family would hold him back, and so this left Janet in a position in which she had to get a job in order to support her and her daughter. So she's hired on by the Mojave County Sheriff as a records clerk. Um, so throughout this, she accumulated time off and her supervisor was very lenient. Um, and so she was able to have flexible hours and use her time off in order to take care of her child. And whenever her child care wasn't available or things like that, she was able to take off. And so then she transitioned to a new position that was a shared job um, with another single parent in the budget as a budget clerk for the county. Um, so this job allowed her to work 20 hours a week with full benefits. Um, so this allowed her to have time off to be with her daughter and rely less on outside child care. And it allowed her to go back to school and get her AA. So she had her AA and she was not receiving any child support because her husband's music career didn't take off. And so she was able to accept a higher paying job. But this higher paying job came with full-time hours that were very rigid and strict um, and with a less lenient supervisor. Um, so she was an accounting tech with the, uh, with the county. Uh, and she, her daughter at this time became very sick. She had all these asthma-related symptoms and uh, illnesses. And so Janet had to use all of her time off. And she kept accumulating time and using it. And so at the same time, the county administrator um, had a proclamation, number 100, which was sick leave management policy. Um, and that really put out that if you had, if you used 44% of your sick leave, after that you had to require a doctor's note and that you had to be using your sick leave for your own sickness and not for the sickness of others. Um, and so as Janet's daughter got sicker, she kept using a great deal of time and she kind of started to become in violation of this policy. So she was reprimanded. Um, for not using her sick time for her own sickness and received two letters of warning. And so she just felt like she had no choice but to take off without pay because um, she couldn't be approved for any more paid leave and request a transfer into another department, just really hoping for sympathy from a new supervisor, knowing that she couldn't evade the policy. Um, she just really wanted someone who was sympathetic to her situation. And so she got a new job in the purchasing division and her new supervisors were really forgiving about her past and understood but were very stern about the future and what in her use of sick time needed to decrease, basically. And so she was reprimanded for not calling in her supervisor. The policy said you had to call your supervisor within 30 minutes of the work day if you were going to be sick, and she did not do that. So she was reprimanded for using a sick day without following that policy and then was later given a suspension um, for this uh, moment. So then, again, she did not properly notify her supervisor when she was out for days, and she used more sick time than she had accrued. So at this point, after these multiple actions, she was had a hearing um, to discuss how she was not using the policy correctly and not exercising her rights correctly. And at the end of the hearing, um, she informed them of another day she planned to take off, and at that point, she was warned and said that we are considering termination, and she did not think much of it, and was uh, they did not think that she was motivated to change her patterns. So then she replied to them that the county should be more sympathetic to single mothers and overall to families in general. So at this point, she was terminated, um, and Janet did not see this as a fair punishment. She thought that this was a little too extreme. Um, because she thought that she was a satisfactory employee when she was in the office. Um, she understood that when she was off, there's nothing she could do, but when she was in the office, she said she was satisfactory. She thought that the county administrator had overstepped when he made the new policy and that she suffered discrimination as a single parent because of the policy. And she didn't understand that she was allowed to have a union representative at the hearing, even though that was something that had been laid out. So, in my opinion, Janet's termination was just. She was given multiple warnings, multiple opportunities, and she did not show that she was someone who was willing to restructure her lifestyle and restructure her behavior in order to succeed within her job position. Um, I think that even though 
this is a very hard position for anyone to be in and that having a sick child and being a single parent is a very hard. I think that Janet did not show that she was willing to try to change her habits and try to have more child care. The article, the chapter does not outline the steps that Janet took outside and seeing if she truly was trying to get more child care, doing more things, and she was just unable to do so. Um, but ultimately, I think that that should have been a time for Janet to understand that she needed to personally step down. She did not feel as if she was someone who was supposed to follow the policy, even though that was a rule for everyone else. Um, she thought that she was exempt from that due to her status as a single parent. And so I think that ultimately those actions justified her termination. So my questions are, do you think that Janet should have been terminated for this situation, for her actions? Uh, what do you think of the reasons that Janet said that she should not be terminated? Do you see that any of those appeals should reverse her termination? Um, and should Janet have received more warnings before she was terminated? Should other attempts for behavior reform have been made? Thanks.